But I ain't ready for no love yet All I ever want is drug sex I'm used to being in the projects Mama saying I was up next Learning how to fucking rob yet I didn't even touch a gun yet Most of niggas I grew up with Hi guys, today we're doing a quick little Um, story time And this story time is going to be called The time I lost my best friend now this was like, I wanna say in fourth grade. No, sixth grade. Okay, so this was in sixth grade because like I I became best friends with her in fourth grade, but this was in sixth grade when this happened. Um, middle school was a hard time for me because middle school I went to three different schools in all my three different years. A mess, yes, but you know like i did not care like i was a mess in sixth grade like i really was but then i'm kind of messy now too and then i was kind of messy before so i don't know i'm just better a better version of myself out of like three years but sixth grade was hard i was like so there was like this girl and like to be honest she was like my sister like i fucked with her like heavy like we would talk to each other like every day like we were like like, to be honest, like, we were, like, inseparable. Like, we didn't even call each other best friends, though. Like, to be honest, like, she would go over to my house and she would call my mom, mom. Like, my sister, sister. Like, we had, like, that, like, that type of bond. Like, we were close as a hell. And I was at McLaughlin at the time. And to be honest, like, I did not have a lot of real friends at McLaughlin. Like, not even gonna lie, because, like, I hang out with real people. I just hang out with real people that like really didn't like me like I was like one of those people who were like I wanted everybody to like me and if everybody didn't like me then I was mad because like why didn't you guys like me like you guys have to like me like it has to be like this like why could how could anybody not like me like that's so terrible like I just thought not being liked by somebody was just like the worst thing that could ever happen and it's not now but like in like sixth grade like i just wanted to be like like i always just wanted to be that person like just like oh yeah like she has a lot of friends like she's cool like that's just that that's just how i was in sixth grade so this girl ooh, what am i gonna call her this girl cookie was telling me like like we were like close 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 and uh, like I well like we met in fourth grade at a school called Stanton and we were close, like close, like really close. Like we met like whenever we met, like it was like kinda like instant. And uh I left for fifth grade and I went to the school called Crosby. Crosby's like a ghetto school. Like you think any of your schools are ghetto, y'all have never been to Crosby. Crosby's ghetto ghetto. So was Stanton. Like I think in Stanton I had fifteen referrals. And in EPISD, like, your referral count doesn't really matter. Like, what they say is I think it's, like, eight or nine referrals or something like that. But if you, like, I know when, like, sixth, seventh, and eighth, I had, like, a lot of referrals. And not eighth. Eighth, I didn't have that many. But, well, that eighth is now. Sixth grade, I had a lot. Sixth grade, I had a lot of referrals. Fourth grade, I had, like, 14, 15 referrals. And then I left for fifth. And fifth, this other girl, let's call her... I I'm still friends with her now. Eh. Eh. Um. Let's call her Fork. That girl, Fork, was just like. She was a bad bitch. Like, me and her, we were like. I have, like, I've always been, like, the type of person with, like, a big, like, personality. Like, I, you're not going to beat me. Like, nobody. Like, I don't let anybody, like, do shit like that to me. Like, you guys, like, I just think it's always been, like, with me, it's always just been, like, okay, no. Like, you're not, like, no, you're not about to compete with me. Fuck you. Like, whatever. So, yeah, I'm going to straighten this while I'm doing this because we're looking a little stiff, sisters. And that's the real tea. But she was just telling me. All of this stuff, like, we were best friends in fourth grade, but, like, this girl, like, this girl that I met, they called her the ba the battered version of me. 
Like, I'm not even gonna cap. Everybody told me, like, whenever they told me, they're like, oh, there's this new girl. She's even worse than you. Like, she's bad. Like, you don't even know her. Like, she's worse. Like, that was how it was. Like, after I left, everybody was like, after I left Stanton, this was elementary school. Like, El Paso's ghetto was fuck. Everybody's like, she's worse than you. Because, reminding you, like, she was like, like, she smoked and everything. Like, I was not like that. So, she was just like, like, she was like, on it. Like, she's like, no, like, and like they're like no she's worse than you and i'm just hearing about her in fifth grade and i was all the way at another school with personal drama there that's another day that's a story for another day but these like they just had the audacity to call her the new me and i was mad because to me it kind of felt like i was being um replaced like i was like damn like they don't give a fuck about me like they just care about this new bitch or whatever so i had my eyes set that i was not gonna like her like, I never even get, like, I'm not even gonna lie, I never gave her the time of day. My eyes were set on just, like, not liking her, not caring about her. Like, she wasn't worth my time. Um, she's not, like, she's none of my business. She's not a priority. She's not this. She's not that. Like, I really did not give her a chance. Like, I did not give her, like, no chances at all. But everybody was pretty much cool with her. All my friends were cool with her, which is the only reason that I was cool with her, because I was going to McGoffin the next year. Six year comes around, I'm at McGoffin. Like, we're chilling. Everybody's cool. Cookie. So, I'm still calling her my best friend. Like, I still always call her my best friend and everything like that. And, like, slowly, 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 I start seeing her. And, um, what the hell was her name? Shit. Uh, <laughs> um. What the hell did I call her? Her and Cookie, yeah. Fork and Cookie and Fork were just getting close. And I was like, damn, like, this bitch is really fucking replacing me. Like, I was her. I was like, damn, like, she replaced me like that. Like, she did me like that. Like, I'm her best friend since fourth grade. And, like, I thought we were still best friends because we still, like, in the summer, like, we did not talk at all in fourth, in fifth, like, at all. Whenever I got Snapchat, in, like, in the summer between fifth and sixth grade, I, I got Snapchat. And then I started talking to her. And, like, we were becoming friends and everything. We had, like, all these group chats with her and, like, a bunch of friends from fourth grade. I got to McGoffin and everything was so different. Like, I swear, like, one of my friends, I'm not saying his name because I'm not trying to get uh, mugged, but him and, like, a bunch of the rest of my friends from elementary school, I don't know if I would call them friends back then, but I call them friends now because, like, <laughs> when we were friends in elementary school, they were so mean to me. Like, they called me Black Ops, and I would cry. Like, I don't think it's funny. Like, now, I think it's funny. I was like, damn, like, that's pretty good for some fourth grade shit. Like, that's funny. But now I'm kind of like, like, then I was kind of like, okay, like, fuck y'all. Like, and then I'd go, like, cry in the restroom or whatever. But in fourth grade, I would fight everybody, too. Like, in fourth grade, I was just, like, a little hoodlum. Like, I was a hood rat. Like, I'd fight everybody for, like, stepping on my shoes. Like, the weirdest shit, I swear. Anyways, yeah, best friend, sixth grade, we're chilling, and then I start getting replaced, and I'm just like, damn, like, the bitch replaced me, whatever. So then I started trying to replace her with this other girl, which this situation did not end up good, so I'm not going to say much about it, because this is, like, this is another story time, but I started trying to replace her with this girl named Foundation, and Foundation just didn't have, Foundation was, like, she wasn't a bad bitch, but she, like, had like a big attitude like she would pop off on anybody like she did not care she didn't know how to fight but she could pop off like trust me like she always had like a she always had like this attitude and this mentality like nobody could beat me but everybody would always beat her so it's kind of like okay but like that's who i was trying to replace cookie with like i wanted to make cookie jealous i was like fuck you like you know so cookie because Cookie was replacing me with fourth, then I was replacing her with Foundation. And then me and Foundation ended up having, like, big beef, like, big issues. That's all I'm going to say about that. So, I just looked stupid. I stopped calling her my best friend. I started saying, calling Foundation my best friend. And then sooner or later, before, like, right after my birthday, they became best friends. And I was like, you fucking fake bitch. Like, fuck y'all. And our whole little group was, like, so bad like we were like hood rats like all of us would act so hood and to be honest nobody was about it like i'm sorry but like me in sixth grade and then me in eighth grade was like a whole different person because in sixth grade yeah i fought 
but I didn't fight half as many times as I was supposed to fight. So I'm gonna put it like this, like I'm not even gonna lie or cap or nothing like that. Like I was supposed to fight a lot more times than I actually ended up fighting. So oh, I fought, but I didn't fight as much as I should have because bad bitches, like if I was actually a bad bitch, then I would have been posting up a lot more than I was. And, and in the story, like that's how it would have been. But we would all schedule these fights. We were scheduling like all these little fights to go to these 7-Elevens. Like there's a 7-Eleven right in front of McGuffin. We would always go there and we'd go there to fight. Because we were ghetto, like ghetto, 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 ghetto children, like 10 and 11 year old girls going to fight. Because EPRSD is some whole different stuff. Like in Isleta, you can't get an alternative or nothing like that. In EPRSD, they don't care what grade you are. If you're in 6th grade, 7th grade, 8th grade, you guys are all the same. You're all going alternative, same punishment, same everything. Like it's no tolerance. Like they don't care. So we're just talking, chilling, doing all this stuff. Like we were bad and like I stopped like I had beef with the whole group after my after Cookie started being best friends with Fork. I stopped talking to all of them. I was like, no, like I don't like them. Oh, they're fake, they're this, they're that. When in reality I was just like, I was like oh well. That's what I and they all started talking about me too. Like, don't get me wrong, like, we all had our little beef. But Cookie always tried to stay neutral. But Cookie told me this one thing. And at the time it should have gave me a hint that she was fake, but it didn't. Because she was like, Tiana, to be honest, if you ever lost a fight, we would not be friends anymore. And I was just like, oh yeah, I wouldn't talk to somebody either if we weren't friends, if they fought and they lost. What? That is so fake! Like, that's what I was thinking of. Like, I just thought later on in my life, like, that is so fake. Like, that is the fakest thing you could do. If your friend loses a fight and then you just, nope, that's not my friend anymore. What? They lost one fight, one fight, and I was just like, and I was like, okay with that, and I didn't, I didn't end up losing any fights that year, but she's just like, like, just all this stuff, like, it just should have been signs for me, so we go to this, so this girl, nail polish, asked me to fight, and we we're gonna go to this 7-Eleven, this is like, whatever, we actually stopped talking, cut each other off, no more talking, because she wouldn't talk to me in front of our other group of friends. Like, in front of Ford's group of friends, she would not talk to me at all. She wouldn't look at me, eye contact, nothing, hug me, nothing. Like, I'd even get a dirty look once and once in now and again. But then we went to this 7-Eleven. This girl, let's call her, I mean, to be honest, I don't really talk to her anymore, but I saw her at a quince recently, and it wasn't that bad. This girl, let's call her Al. She asked me to fight, at the, well, I asked her to fight at the 7-Eleven. We go. She was not about shit. Nothing. She didn't tell me. And, like, I was like, what's up, bitch? Like, what's up? And she's like, well, you're ugly. And I was like, okay. And then she's like, well, you're fat. And I was like, okay. And I was like, but you're not going to do shit. Like, you're not about shit. Pop off. Pop off. And I stopped. And I would step forward. And, like, she would just move back. And then I would step forward. And then she would just move back. And I was like, well, what's up, bitch? You keep moving back. Like, you have a problem. Fucking tell me. Like, you have a problem. And explain that to me. What's your problem? And we did not fight that day. Long story short, we did not fight that day. I'm pretty sure it ended up with me leaving. Like, cause they didn't tell us anything, but it was a bunch of people looking at us at the 7-Eleven. That 7-Eleven was crowded after school. And pretty much I just ended up making the executive decision to leave. And I was just like, whatever, fuck this. Like, she's not gonna do anything. She's not about it, whatever. And then me and my other friend, what did I end up calling her? Foundation, right? Did I? Yeah, whatever, I'm getting mixed up with names. Well, Foundation was just telling me all of this stuff and I was just like found so foundation she had no she like she was just telling me she's like oh Tiana like you got her good this and this and this and this and then her cousin had just came her cousin had just came to the school like just 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 got there so her cousin was there too the next day they're all Fort came back to school Fort's telling me oh come to the 7-Eleven come to the 7-Eleven come to the 7-Eleven now, I'm going to say this is probably, like, the most, mm, let's call it, yeah, I'm going to call it that. Yeah, I was just being a pussy, to be honest. Like, 100%, like, I was being a pussy because she's just telling me. Like, they're just telling me all the stuff about the, at the 7-Eleven. Like, oh, Papa, I'm going to do this. And then, because the day before, they didn't tell me nothing. But then that day, Fork came up to me whenever Fork was back at school because Fork wasn't at school that day. Fork came back to school, and then Cookie, my best friend, was always with them. Like, she was on their side. Like, we were at that 7-Eleven the next day. And she's just, like, on their side and everything else. And then 
she's like we're just standing there because usually she doesn't say anything but she was just standing there looking at me and then they're all just telling me they're like, oh well you're coming here that's fine like this and this and this like let's go and i had two girls trying to pop off on me and i was just like and reminding you the only person i really trusted at mcgoffin was this girl cookie I, she was like the only person I trusted to be honest like 100% she was because the rest of the group of friends like I did not trust them anymore I did not talk to them I didn't want anything to do with them they were not my friends we were not nothing we were not friends like no 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 I did not like them I didn't trust them, nobody I trusted Cookie and that's it so I was not like my in my mindset it was just like okay no I'm gonna leave so because they're both popping off at me they're both popping up popping off on me and then this parent rolled up and then I was like, well, what? Like, well, what? Like, and I was far back. Like, to be honest, like, they were, like, right here, like, at this little corner, like, both of them. And they were, like, jumping up, screaming, popping off. And there's, like, a little group of people, like, recording or whatever. And then there's just me and then my little group at, like, this little trash can by the 7-Eleven. And then there's this mom that just pulls up and then she's like, they don't want to fight you. I'm going to call the police. Y'all need to go. Y'all need to leave. And I'm just like, but I had no idea who it was. I don't know who that lady was. I don't know who she was. But to be honest, I felt like I was going to get jumped. And I have way too high of pride. Like, my pride is way too, like, this much. So even if I was going to get jumped, and I knew I was. Like, that day, I knew if I would have fought, then I would have been jumped. But if that lady wouldn't have pulled up, then I would have got jumped that day. And because I, like, my pride is too high. I'm not the type to just back out of a fight and then just leave, leave the fight like that. But after that lady pulled up or whatever, I was like, all right, we'll leave the situation. But then Cookie just yells in the background. She's a pussy ass little bitch. And I'm just like. Damn. <laughs> That's my best friend. Like, oh, okay. Then we stop talking. Like, we, I want to say we did not talk again until these other two girls ended up almost fighting which is also how i stopped being friends with another one of my best friends i've had so many best friends in the past three years y'all don't even know well actually no i haven't in sixth grade i had two and and then until then i've had the same one but no love for them like i was just like oh okay that's fake that's tough my feelings are hurt but i was not about to cry in front of them so tiana just screams back you ain't about it. You never do nothing. So shut up. Then they left. We left. And we didn't talk to them again. And I didn't end up talking to them again until this whole fight situation with another girl. And that's another story for another day. But that's the time I lost my best friend. My best friend since fourth grade. And I want to say she was my first best friend in El Paso. Besides this other girl, which actually, like, we were best friends in third. I don't know. I wouldn't even call us best friends. But we were just close, 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 close. Because she went to Crosby. And we would hang out, like, every single day at her house. Like, she had a trampoline. Like, we'd go. But, like, by the time we got to middle school, like, we did not talk. No. Because, no, no. I don't know why we didn't, we didn't talk. We just didn't. We just weren't like that. We didn't talk. I don't know why. But we didn't talk anymore. And my feelings were hurt. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I was just like... But then, like like I said, like I was so adamant on making everybody like me. Like, everybody had to like me. Like, I could not be not liked by nobody. So, I was just... I did everything I could because I had her for classes. I did everything I could to try to talk to her again. I did that with, like, a lot of people in my group in sixth grade. Like, I would always try to reconcile and be friends with them again. And keep going and pushing and pushing it forward with them. But at the same time, we would all, everybody in that group would always claim, I'm bad, I'm this, I'm that. If I could, I would. If I had the chance to, I would. If I could do this, I would. But nobody ever does anything. Like, none of us would ever do anything. I can't remember one person fighting in sixth grade besides me. That's the real tea, sis. So, if you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And add me on Instagram, which is like right up here. Add me on Snapchat, which is like right up here. And if you guys want to see another video just like this one, then comment down below. Bye. So, bottom line, my lesson from the story was you grow every day. You meet new people. You're always going to meet new people. And the people you love will stick beside you and the people who you don't will not. 
and you have to be able to tell your stories and express yourself in the way that you want to so that you can grow up and you can become a better person in just like your overall lifetime that's real stuff right there